When the fraud case involving former Mkhatana High School head teacher Simon Makumu resumed at the High Court before High Court Judge Mutumamba, the defense, which was led by Nenga Langamanda, cross examined Quinet Lukele, who is a state witness. Lukele is the current secretary of Mkhatana High School. The defense asked Lukele if she knew that when the auditors came to the school in 2012, some documents they later asked for were already there at the school. Lukele had earlier informed the court that auditors wanted certain documents which the school should have been furnished by CP Automachin. The auditors instructed Lukele to conduct CP Automachin and ask for the documents. The defense also informed the court that there is a 200,000 invoice which was a payment to CP Automachin from the school in respect of 77 computers. But the high school's account with CP Automachin proves that and the latter finished the school with a receipt as proof of payment of the said amount. There are monies that were paid on different dates by the school to CPS, amounting to 150,000 Malangeni, which is money that CP Automachin loaned to the school for the purposes of paying examination fees. Lukele did admit that yes, the school would sometimes make a loan with CP Automachin to pay examination fees. The defense informed the court that the school did settle the loan. Interestingly, CP Automachine in one of the counts that they are facing involves 150,000 Malangeni. The Crown also called in another witness, Timothy Mnina, who worked at the school from 2010 to 2013 as a bookshop attendant. Mnina explained to the court that his responsibilities were to issue and recover books from students he was also expected to receive books from suppliers on behalf of the school. After receiving those books, he was supposed to sign a delivery note. Mnina informed the court that there were certain invoices that were brought to him to sign, but he declined and took them to the secretary, who then took them to the principal. Those invoices were later brought back to him unsigned. Then he personally took them to the principal, who told him that he must sign them because he was rushing to a meeting. Nina further informed the court that the items he was signing for were not delivered to the school, and when he asked the principal, he told him that they would be delivered at a later date. The defense asked Nina if he did notice that he signed the documents in 2012, yet they were dated 1 February 2010. Nina said he was aware, and he did inquire from the secretary as to why, but she was in the dark too. The defense argued that the documents were dated 2010 because they were replacing those that came to the school and were misplaced. In fact, they were the ones that the auditors were looking for. The defense told Mina that the reason why he was not aware that the material he signed for was delivered is because he signed for something outside his portfolio. Mina signed for furniture, yet his job was to sign for stationery. Hence, he cannot be aware whether the furniture was delivered or not. The defense argued that when Mina signed the documents, the material had long been delivered to the school, just that he was not aware. Mina said the material was not delivered until he left the school. He further informed the court that he signed for 300 dictionaries worth 88,000 Malangeni, and those dictionaries were not delivered in the school. The Crown also called in another witness, Maibong al who works for the Southern Revenue Authority. He was working for Standard Bank between 2011 and 2013. The minister said he received a court order which compelled the bank to release Mkhatana High School's bank accounts, checks, and recovery letters, and he did that as that was under his portfolio. The case was postponed to Monday. For News, I'm Denton Kule at the High Court.